G'day, this is Paul from Helltech, and today we're going to be checking out um, this helmet. This is Cooper Turlin's helmet. He's obviously had a big crash, and like a lot of blokes, when they've had a crash, they quite often wonder, you know, how bad, badly damaged my helmet, um, how big was my crash, am I concussed, you know, should I keep riding, that sort of thing, and um, yeah, so it's quite often hard to tell because helmets can hide, you know, the damage that's inside them. And that's part of the reason why we've de we're developing this uh, sensor. It's a crash severity sensor, and this is an early prototype that we're developing. And it's um, designed to tell you exactly how big your crash was. It's going to sit on the brow area of your helmet, and it records the number of G's that um, you crash at. So, yeah, that's something that we're obviously working on, and hopefully, in time, you'll be able to check out further. But anyway, Cooper's um, yeah come up short on a double um, a while back, for a month or six weeks ago now. He's uh, had what he calls a um, Ricky Bobby moment and um, gone down pretty hard and hit a hard little patch of soil and caused these pretty nasty gouges here in the brow area of his helmet. And um, yeah, this helmet's obviously past his use by date. She's um, copped a fair old whack to the side here and down along the chin bar. And obviously he's broken away these uh, his screws on the side and the, and the centre there. And that's a good thing because obviously you want those to snap off in a crash, decent crash, because if they hang on then that's going to mean you've got this extra, like an anchor I suppose, that's going to um, dig in the ground and <clears throat> rip on your neck and slow the helmet down a lot faster. And when your helmet slows down real fast, that means your brain stops a lot faster too. And our brains like don't like stopping real fast, as we all know. So that's good that that's broken away. But yeah, we're going to um, check it all out. Cooper, when he's had his crash, he's um, he's woken up in the hospital. Sorry, woken up in an ambulance. So he was knocked out for a while. He um, it was in hospital about four to five days. He had a severe concussion, um, punctured lung, broken collarbone, and bruised liver. So did a pretty good job of himself. Um, and uh, yeah, so we'll hopefully get to see him back on the bike soon. He's recovering obviously quite well. Saw him. When I picked up his helmet, he's obviously doing pretty good. Just had the wing in a sling. Um, and hopefully see those Cooper, the Turlin films out again soon, because they're pretty cool. And um, anyway, so for this helmet, you know, obviously copped a fair whack here. And from there, we'd expect to see on the inside, um, in this area here, the brow area here, um, we'd obviously expect to see some crushing of that EPS um, to show that it's tried to absorb some of the impact of his crash when he's gone over the bars and helmets see have um this these days have this black light coating to the eps to make it more obvious when there's been an indentation or crushing of the um, of eps and that way you can see the white so when it was white on white back in the day it obviously was a bit more difficult but these days with the black coating it's a lot more obvious and um, it's a bit unfortunate that there doesn't seem to be much of um, an indentation here um, there's no white EPS underneath there really there's a little mark there may or may not be from this crash you'd hope it probably would be um, but not as much as I would have expected um, even the channels here aren't really crushed down like you'd expect they feel fairly well still well um, shaped that sort of thing and Obviously, M2R have this X Halo tech that they is their proprietary tech, so we'll obviously check that out in time. But yeah, anyway, that's a um, little intro to what we're going to be doing um, the next couple of vids, just short videos on what happens when you cut up a helmet and check it all out on the inside, see what actually happens after a crash, um, and uh, sort of explain to particularly young kids who quite, might be more inclined to chuck a helmet back on that's got a few scratches on it, maybe not as bad as this one. This one obviously with the the amount of gouges in this, you'd hopefully no one would put this type of helmet back on their head. Um, and obviously in time, you guys can check out our crash severity sensor. Have a look on our website for the moment, a little bit of a blurb on there, but in time hopefully you'll be able to check this out for yourselves. and. Hopefully you think it's pretty cool tech. I can't wait to put one on my helmet. Hopefully not to crash in, but you know, when and if that, day's, that day comes, then I'll have some good data on, on my crash, which hopefully help me you know, decide whether my helmet needs to be chucked out or 
obviously what sort of treatment I might need uh, to get my little brain back together. Okay guys, thanks for that. Look out for the next few videos coming up and um, speak to you soon. Got any questions? Sing out. Cheers. Bye.